Kiana here with PMP Crafters. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello, hello, and thanks for tuning in. We are going to be making something great today. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and take a moment and do so now so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. We know that Valentine's is right around the corner, and I love making fun activity sheets for the kids for my business. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys how I make activity sheets. I always create mine with my um, 14 by 8.5 paper so in here. And we're going to, of course, make sure that it is on inches, but we're going to put in here. I normally put in we're using 14 by 8.5 paper, but I like to put 13 in. Then 8.5 is gonna be our height and we're gonna click create. Now, here we go. Once again, like I said, we are going to be printing on the 8.5 by 14 inch paper, but I went ahead and took off an inch just to be on the safe side so that way we won't go over on our design because sometimes i forget that you have to leave margins and all of that whatnot but anywho so now that i have my piece of paper here there's a few ways where we can get clip art and i'm going to show you those now one way you can get coloring book or activity sheets coloring images is to go into MuscaClipArts.com. This is a great site for you to purchase your clip art. And so I actually have the link down in the description below, as well as a coupon code, Pamper Me Princess, so you can save on yours. So what we're going to do is go in here to the digital stamps. Once you click on digital stamps, as you can see, there are a ton of coloring book style images that you can use for any occasion. Um, we're going to be using this one here with the teddy bears. So let's go ahead and get started. Another way is for us to go into elements and we're going to click on outline so we want to type in what we want and we want it to be an outline image okay so as you can see i typed in valentine's outline the word outline is going to be key here when you're looking in canva for finding something for like coloring pages and as you can see there's some different ones. If you have Canva Pro, then definitely you'll be able to use all of these that have the crown on them with no problem. If you're not with Canva Pro, you may have to pay for some of these images, but I highly recommend getting Canva Pro so that way you won't have to worry about that. Now, I am going to choose this little guy. I'm gonna put him in here. I think it's so super cute. Now it's going to show you the margins because it's trying to keep you within those, but we've already done that for ourselves. So I can actually bring him all the way to the side. Another thing I brought in, of course, was the images from, from what I showed you guys earlier. And I'm going to drag those in here as well. Now it is time for us to get our activities to go around this. So we have our little coloring images, which is part of our activity sheets, and we want to put some little things around here. So, all right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this tab open and I'm going to go back to my home or create another tab. And this one I want to put in that I want a worksheet so we're going to type in um for mine it's going to be the valentine's we're going to do a valentine's worksheet 
and we'll see what we get. Now, Canva is so great that they have these worksheets already created for you, but we wanna make sure that we put these worksheets onto our placemat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find one that we really like. Okay, so now that we have this up, I decided to choose a word search. So now with this word search, as you can see, every single piece is where you can move it about. We do not want it to move. And this is so cute that this is sticking into our bear theme. So you could totally leave that there or you can take it out by, of course, editing and moving some things around. I'm gonna leave it as is. And so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually um, highlight everything here. And then I am going to um, copy. And I'm gonna bring it over to my design and I'm gonna paste it here. Keeping with everything being linked together, I am then going to resize it to fit right in on my activity sheet. And I'm gonna to continue to do that until I fill up my whole activity sheet. And I may be readjusting a few things, but you guys just follow along in the Okay, so now that we have our activity sheet complete, it is now time for printing. Now I'm gonna, I can sit here and play with this all day and so I just feel like it's just absolutely perfect. But I wanna go ahead and show you guys, now that we have everything done, we've got a maze on here, a word search, as well as tic-tac-toe, which everybody absolutely loves tic-tac-toe, I know I do. We're going to now print this. So. Before we print, of course, we must save it to our computer. So we're gonna go to Downloads and we are going to save it as a PDF, which is best for printing. Once we save it as a PDF, we'll go ahead and print it out. Now, this is what it looks like all printed out. As you can see, it is on the 14 by 8.5 paper and there's a little bit of margin on the left-hand side. But other than that, it is all perfect and ready for the kids to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, happy crafting.